Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well. Today I wanted to share with you guys my September favorites. We're now officially into October, which means it's finally the fall time. I'm super excited for the fall season. I absolutely love the fall season. I love the crisp air. I love the pumpkin pies. I love all of the fall flavors and just being able to go outside and being able to layer on clothes and wear toques and scarves and gloves. It's just one of my favorite seasons of the year and I don't know about you guys but I just have the best memories in the fall time so I hope you guys enjoy the fall season as much as I do. Anyhow, I digress. Let's go right into my favorites. I'll start with beauty favorites and then I'll move into food favorites. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so the first thing I want to share with you guys is a lip balm. Because it has gotten a lot colder here in Vancouver, my lips have needed extra attention. And the lip balm that I actually picked up was a Rodin lip balm and it's this one right here. Not only is the packaging absolutely gorgeous, Gorgeous and simple. The product inside is absolutely amazing as well. It keeps my lips moisturized for up to two to three hours without having to reapply and it leaves a very very nice sheen on your lips as well. So I highly recommend this lip balm if you're someone who is looking for a, um, a more moisturizing lip balm for the fall and winter season. I'll actually swatch it for you guys so you can take a look at what it looks like. So if I put it right there, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, uh, it leaves a nice baby pink sheen on your lips. So this one is definitely a keeper. The next favorite is a serum. Because we're coming into the fall season and we've come from you know, being out in the sun and being super tanned, I've noticed that my skin has gotten quite dull and more tan than usual. This is probably the first summer that I've gotten really, really tan. I'm so afraid of the sun, but this year I decided to let go and just be out in the sun without having to hold my umbrella or you know, wear a hat, but um, but not to not to say I didn't hold my umbrella out when I was out in the sun. I just held it less often than I would the past summers. But um, because my skin has been really, really dull, I needed something to just give it an extra boost and have give it more life going into the fall season. So I picked up this Estee Lauder Enlightened Dark Spot Correcting Night Serum. And even though it is a dark spot correcting um, serum. I've actually used it on my whole face and it definitely makes a difference. It does make my skin look much brighter and the girl at the counter told me that you can actually use this uh, during the day as well so that's what I've been doing. I've been using it night and day and I absolutely love the packaging. Just look at how regal this blue looks. It just looks really really cute and just beautiful on my vanity. I'll show you guys how the serum looks like as well. And as you can see there, it is a very runny serum. A little goes a long way and it, it absorbs really, really quickly and you totally can tell a huge difference in the morning time. The next thing I want to share with you guys is a beverage and this is something that I have been overly obsessed with. I purchased three flats and I'm down to my last flat of it. It is the Buco Organic Coconut Water and it's not from concentrate and there's no sugar added. And you can purchase this at Costco. So there's six of these in one flat for $19.99 and I think that's a smoking deal. So if you're ever at your local Costco or health food store, definitely try this Buco brand out. I usually drink the Blue Monkey brand just because I found that one to be the closest to a fresh cracked coconut. But um, this one is far superior than that one. It doesn't leave that um, if you're someone who actually drinks coconut water very often, then you know that there is two kinds of coconut water. The sour kind of coconut water and the crisp tasting coconut water. The sour kind is really, really gross because once you drink it, it leaves a very nasty sour aftertaste. But this one definitely does not do that. So please try this if you are looking for another brand of coconut water. I have been obsessed with it. I have been drinking this like a crazy lady. So. I highly recommend this one. 
The next thing I want to share with you guys is a greens and berry powder. I now going into the fall season and winter season, we're more prone to getting sick because everybody else around us is, you know, either sneezing on us or, you know, just, you know, there's those people that just don't cover their mouths when they're coughing and it's really, really annoying because then your body catches the cold or the flu or whatever it is that they have and it sucks. So um, going into the fall season, I wanted to share or, or share show my body extra love so I've been incorporating the Elysian Genesis green and berry powder into my smoothies. I absolutely have been loving this um, greens and berry powder because it just has been giving me an extra pep in my step and it's just if you know the benefits of spirulina you know how how beneficial it is for your body and just all of the good things that it does for your body and actually two or actually one scoop of this um, yields four to six servings of fresh fruit and vegetables and you know that I incorporate a ton of greens into my smoothies already so if you watch any of my previous smoothie videos then you know that I put a ton of greens in my smoothies but um, this one here is just great if you are on the go and you don't have time to eat all of your greens definitely give this thing a try um, but I really have been loving this just incorporating incorporating this into my smoothies I notice a huge difference in energy and just you know overall well-being so if you guys are interested in it I'll leave a link of it down below and the next thing I want to share with you guys is one of my favorite snacks I have been obsessed over this popcorn I've been eating it like crazy and if I actually allowed myself to um, if I actually allowed myself to finish it in one sitting, I probably could, but I haven't. So, it's this one right here. It is the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. It is the kettle corn. It's sweet and salty, and the ingredients are very, very simple. You can pretty much read everything on the ingredients list. It says popcorn, sunflower oil, cane sugar, and sea salt. So. Oh, if you guys are at your local Costco or your local grocery store, definitely pick this up because it, it's not a heavy snack or anything at all. It actually is quite light and that's why you're more prone to eating more of it than you should. But this is what it looks like. And it's just sweet and salty and every time you get a sweet one, you want to grab a salty one and then you know, it's like a vicious cycle. So it's so, so delicious. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should try it. But that is pretty much it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.